the first wall inputs methods to get used to uh, would be line so I'm going to choose line and I'm just going to choose wall for now and that needs to be done anti-clockwise so I'm going to click there and then you drag your distance or you can type it in so I'm just going to type in 16 meters enter and then I use my mouse to control the direction that you want to go in and I'm going straight up 8 meters and then you can go across and you can find the inference basically click on it and then straight down once you get to your origin again click again and that's how you get that done with line input the next one that you can do would be and it most, fully, most commonly will be used would be the building rectangular I'm going to click on that one and again this one you click and drag diagonal and then also you can enter where you see the plus sign and the arrows that's the distance that you're going to enter first so and it defaults to 16 meters again so I'm going to press enter for that and then you can see now I do the vertical distance and the default is 8 meters and I can press enter again so that's the two ways of inputting your walls another way to quickly get your walls in would be to import the DXF and that you can do by basically finding your DXF and basically clicking it, hold it, drag it into your layout and just dropping it the software will then open up a dialog and here you can click OK and you get a ghost image that you now can paste anywhere I'm just going to click on there and then again using your building line tool you can go and drag your walls around this DXF import and that's the easiest way to start off with doing wall inputs